Hello everybody, Ranroth back up with you, and let's get going back on the League 2. Quick news update, the media have been getting after Mark Byrne for a string of poor performances. I disagree, he hasn't, done, he hasn't had too much to do, he's always coming off the bench just filling in when we need him. I wouldn't say he's poor, i say he's done enough, but eh, that's them. I'll keep him on the squad, we don't really have too many extra midfielders to be going, uh, leaving him off. But, that's what they're going to say, that's what they're going to say. Media sucks. So, here's our lineup. we got Silbera in goal. Marco Smos on the right. Kubu and Jugu, the center backs. Sibu Ciso Kamalo on the left. Danny Bejarano, right midfield. Chapman and Klukowski are the center mid. I don't think that's a pairing we've tried before, but let's give it a go. Andy Sandel is our left midfielder. Um, up front... Rene Howe and Chris Zabrowski. So let's uh, jump straight into our team talk topic for today. We're moving through the lineup, talking about all our players. Let's get into the strikers. This will be the last in the series. First up, we are talking about Rene Howe, who has been our you know, super goal scorer so far this season. Let's not lose early. Let's really not lose early. Okay, there we go. Rene Howe started playing that in his hometown of Bedford. Oh, is Zabrowski in? He is! Oh, but it's... He's, he is not... He's outside. So, uh... Rene Howe starting in Bedford. Bedford Town. Ooh, that's close. That's so close. We almost had that one, I think. Um, he played at Bedford Town while uh, training to be an electrician. So that's his backup career if this doesn't work out, but at least for the time being, I'd say it is working out. Uh, in 2006, he moved on to Kettering Town. Oh, Chapman, pick, take the ball, please. He's offside, but it's okay. silvera has got it covered as well. Um, Kettering Town was his next move. Oh, go on, Bejarano. Chapman from range. Ooh, not too far away. Oh, it's going to be a hard one. I'm just so interested in playing the game right now. I really don't want to be talking about these guys. I've got a wall of text in front of me. Lots of uh, veteran strikers that... Anyway, so let's just push on. Um, decent performance at Kettering Town. Got him a, a deal with Peterborough. He didn't quite get to break into their first team as he would have liked. And he spent a lot of time out on loan in the following years. On that list are Rochdale, Morecambe, Lincoln City, Gillingham, and Rushton and Diamonds, oh, and Bristol Rovers. So he was all over the place for uh, those four years that he spent on the payroll at um, Peterborough. settle any of those places, and Peter Bird didn't really want him, so they released him at the end of 2011, and he got picked up by Torquay United. Um, the manager at the goal said that he was just the kind of big, strong striker that they were looking for, and they snapped him up. People punches it. Um, let's get this ball into the box before we continue. Zabrowski! Nope. Okay. Well done, Beharana. So, uh, he had a decent first season at Torquay. Uh, scored a bunch of goals, and, yeah. and as the second season started up, the goals seemed to dry up for him. As frustration 
crept in. He uh, made a bad mistake and uh, put in a really nasty tackle while playing against. Oh, I didn't write it down. Who was it? Um, anyway, I don't remember who they were playing for at the time, but the guy he tackled, Dean Winard, is actually playing center defense for Accrington Stanley right now. It might have been Accrington last time. But so, those guys have a history and they're playing against each other once again. Adam Chavishaw, so close. Let's hope that nothing bad goes down. At least not for us. If Winard wants to go and get himself sent off in a crazy tackle, I'm okay with that. Tackle there. Hold on, Samosa. Um, so for that tackle, he got a four-match ban. He came back, but still never really uh, got back into the, the goal-scoring form that he was looking for. So later on in that season, that's what it was. No, not quite, but... Yeah, he, he stayed with Torquay for the rest of that season. And uh, still remained their top goal scorer, but... In the leagues like this, up in League 2, it doesn't take much. Covered Silvera. So he rejected a contract, or to, uh, or signing another contract with Torquay. He wanted to move up, so he rejected what um, Torquay offered and hoped for something bigger. It didn't really come. You got to uh, he uh, he got a, another contract with Burton Albion. We have just played and don't really like at the moment. So, there's that. That's another team that wears yellow, just like Torquay and us. Ooh, keeper. Ooh, what is going on? Silvera stayed out. Should we be playing keeper? Oh, well, I guess we'll settle with that. Um, so, where are we at? He had trouble breaking into that Burton Albion team, and they released him in the following January, which is where he got signed with us in June of 2013. That sounds right, he was... no. No, it must have been... It wasn't, it wasn't June, it wasn't the beginning of the season, it was the middle of the season, that's why he wasn't in the... He wasn't in FIFA with Newport beginning of the of the game. Uh, it was after the January transfer window. So it might have been February he moved. Or maybe... I, I don't even remember. But let's just go with that. He, he did join Newport because he's here. And I didn't do it. Oh, come on, guys. Full oh, so bare. A massive save. So he signed with us, and then he's scoring goals and helping us not suck. Just like Silvera with that. It's a great save. So with that, let's move on to the next one we want to talk about. Aaron O'Connor. He's not on the field today. He started his career with Ilkston Town. That's our chance to counter. Outset forward. What? Zabrowski first time? Oh, lean back, hit it harder. Uh, so, as an 18 year old, Aaron O'Connor started at Ilkston Town, made a quick move to Scunthorpe United. He didn't get a ch chance to play too much, but the manager let him go fairly quickly, saying that he didn't have the right attitude for professional football. I did a little extra research into what he meant by that, but found nothing. It tends, it tends to be hush hush on uh, stuff like that. No extra info on what the manager meant. Oh, that's a terrible pass, Hal. Or it's Bejarano. So he bounced around for a little while, 
uh, first a spell at uh, Nuneaton Town. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lots of letters that don't normally go together. Sibyl Cecil Kamal, you're so good. Way to cover that. Uh, next up, what happened? What happened? What happened? All history. So, brief spell at Nuneaton, then he had a bit of a return to Oakston Town. And then he found a regular place at Grizzly Rovers. Not Grizzly like a bear, but Grizzly. He was there from 2004-2007, and then he spent a year at Gray's Athletic. Um, these are all teams that you don't really know too well unless you're following the non-league stuff. But the next year after Gray's Athletic, he got a year at Mansfield Town, who they bordered on a... Uh, league football for a while, they've bounced up and down, one of the you know, regular teams who uh, are getting promoted and relegated fairly frequently, so they bounce around between league and non-league. Oh, go Klukowski, go on, get in! What a goal! Right at the start of the first half. I don't, I'm not sure if that took a deflection, but man, that was nice. Just roll it in the bottom corner. Did that take a deflection? Oh, it just megged the defender, caught the keeper unsighted, and we've got an opening goal. Lovely, right in the corner. Good start from that guy. I'm getting to like him more and more. I've yelled at him a lot in the past, but. He's breaking in. So back to Aaron O'Connor. Uh, a year at Mansfield Town. The best round. That, after that, he uh, moved to Rushton Diamonds. It's another team that we've heard a lot, mostly because uh, Justin Enbrough, the current manager at Newport County, uh, had a good... Um, spent a lot of time managing there. So he's been a lot of the players that he's had in his squad over here to uh, Newport. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to go with the players you know. Oh, that's a pretty deep cross. Good control, I suppose. Oh, come on. When I push clear, it doesn't mean switch player and have that guy do nothing. Anyways. So that was a good era at Russian and Diamonds for Aaron O'Connor. Two score or two seasons, scoring plenty of goals. Um, the second year he was there, he was the club captain. A free transfer in 2011 to Luton Town did not give him the same kind of success he was looking for. Swarovski breakaway. How get in the middle. That's where I want you to be. Up it goes. No, not enough. Um, so that year at Luton Town didn't work out as he liked. And that's when he made the move to Newport. He was with the squad that won promotion to the league. He's been with us since, scoring a fair few goals. Alright, once we get a chance to look at the notes and clear out this, this attack, we will... Okay, move on to Chris Zabrowski. Get inside Bejarano, just lay it in. Here's the finish. Yeah! Oh! I just went wide! I thought that was in! Bejarano yet to open his scoring account, but no better time than there. So, Zabrowski, product of the Swindon Town Youth Academy, he failed to make his professional contract there, so he moved on to Plymouth Argyle. He um, got a few appearances there, but then had his contract terminated, aka fired, because there was an incident. They, I think, on the internet, the term they use most is fracas. No idea what that meant, but 
he uh, got in a lot of trouble because team captain Paul Watton at the end of this whatever it was um, ended up with a, more than a hundred stitches and I looked around for information on this and there really wasn't much what I understand glass was involved and it was in retaliation to bullying because apparently Watton was a uh, notorious for, you know, bullying the, the younger players, and, and uh, well, I guess Zabrowski just didn't take it and retaliated pretty heavily. So he was removed from that. Uh, he joined Millwall next, and played a little bit there before a short loan to Oxford. And after that, he moved to Torquay. Torquay, he had a fairly good year there, playing well, scoring a few goals. He's not really an out-and-out -out goal scorer. Um, he's a very good setup man, which is kind of how we've been putting him. I, that's why I picked him for this game to work with. How we just need players to get how the ball so he can score. It turns out to be a, a good method for us. Oh, he's offside. It uh, doesn't matter, he missed anyway. Um, let's see, so Torquay for the CSU year. Then he signed a two year deal with Wickham Wanderers. Um, it went okay. He spent the second year on back on loan at Torquay. And after that, in 2011, he moved to Bristol Rovers. That didn't stick. Uh, the next year at Cheltenham Town. That didn't really work either. He ended up being released in January of 2013. He spent the rest of that season with Eastley, and then joined Newport at the beginning of their League 2 career. And now he's still with us. Woohoo! Alright, last big player we need to talk about, Christian Jolly, the Jolly Man. If you've seen his picture in this game, you know he is an, he's got this massive smile, must have just scored a goal. Uh, he was... He played with the Oxted and District team. I think they must be a an amateur, or at very least semi-pro team. He uh, played there while uh, working as a gym trainer. Ooh, Kamalo having a dig. Not good enough though. Working as a, a gym trainer, he had a trial at Kingstonian in that period and was offered a contract, and that's where he began his professional career. His first year was really good, impressed just about everybody, and so he got transfer deal to Wimbledon, another Wimbly Wombly. Okay, uh, oh, they want this one. Let's just drop a little bit more defensive. There we go. Are we on? Are we on? Oh, he's not on. Why don't you give him the ball back, Sand? I'll just let it run. hard to tell. They, they've taken away that offside line. I don't know how we're supposed to... I don't know. Maybe they took it away because some of the times they were wrong. It, w it was pretty rare when uh, even by the... What was that? Even by uh, the game's own drawn offside line, it was evident that it really wasn't offside. So on Christian Jolly's transfer to Wimbledon, he scored on his debut and was on the bench as an unused sub when uh, they played Luton Town in the playoffs to get promoted to League Two. Let's see what some subs. How about that? Klukowski is looking wrecked. Let's get him off. Let's have Michael Flynn. And how about Gebeher on a break? And since we're talking about Jolly, let's throw him in there as well. We could probably use his pace up front, hitting uh, on the break. So, uh, he on the bench for the 
playoff final where Wimbledon earned their promotion in the penalty shootout. And Jolly continued playing with Wimbledon and scored their opening goal of the league season as well. There is the guy right there, and Ryan Jackson. And he must have not done as well as they would have liked him because they sent him out on loan to Newport. Got it covered. Well done, Jackson. The one right through the middle. Is he in? Ryan Jackson, amazing run. Tried to slot it, but it didn't work out. Puts it in. And Jolly flicks it on goal. It's saved. Man, Jackson looking good. I like that kind of. Finished parking the bus just this last minute or two. Good cover, Flynn. Oh, Jolly going all the way, all the way. Just take it to the corner if you can't get around the guy. I'll make your run in. Oh, that's a great run. And that's a great header, and it's 2 0. Kill him off right at the death. Rene Howe on the score sheet once again. Didn't want to be left out of this win. Man, brilliant cross. Great run. Completely open in the middle there. Good splash as he heads that in. So after being... Oh, let's go back to John Lee to finish him up. Uh, on loan at Newport did fairly well. We uh, paid the money for him, and now he's a big part of our team, as we saw right there, swinging in that cross. How scores his 10th league goal. Um, is important. Uh, well, he helped us uh, earn the promotion to League 2 as well. He was in that squad. He scored the first goal of the 2 0 win over Wrexham. Uh, full time. Just a little bit short. Now, even though he was important to our team, he's uh, in real life, he's not there. He got sent on loads of four screen overs. I mentioned that when it happened you know, several videos ago. I don't remember how far back. The last thing I'll mention. Joe Piggott, he's actually gone back to Charlton Athletic. He's not with our squad anymore. He's been one of their youth players on loan to Bromley, gelling him in 2014, and he scored his first two goals with Newport when they played against Wimbledon a couple months ago. And that's all I have to say about that. Likes and subscribes are great. Comments are greater. I want to know what you guys think, so leave that down there. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next match.